Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox, and I'm laughing because I've read what's coming. Now, um, Ian Murray, who is the Labour Shadow Scottish Secretary, has said that Stephen Flynn is living in some kind of delusional alternative through the looking glass universe, wherein he thinks that uh, he's already stood, announced that he's standing, stood, had the election and won the position of First Minister, even though he's an MP, not an MSP and can't be First Minister. But in Stephen Flynn's mind, he is the best man for the job. Beryl, you're not the best man for any job. Don't forget that Flynn, of course, is a man who's never really held a real job. He's lived in a little political bubble his entire life. And indeed, most of the things that come out of his mouth are in little bubbles with the word hick written on it. Because it's either he's drunk or, you know, the speech impediment is just a sign that he doesn't understand the words he's saying. Uh, but he is a very strange man and very delusional, as we mentioned. I think he's a narcissistic individual. Um, he's certainly never going to be First Minister. The only way he could do it would be uh, do a Douglas Ross, become an MSP and an MP at the same time, which the Nats don't like, but then he could do that to guarantee his place and then give up his MP-ship. But whatever it is, he, he's just onto a surefire battering because he's a loser. Let's take a look, <laughs> and then you'll see why I'm laughing at the opening line. Here it goes. Now, I'm laughing, but actually, deep down, I'm, I'm really quite annoyed because it's one of those lines, I wish I'd thought of it, but it's a good one. Ian Murray says Stephen Flynn thinks he is already the First Minister. The Labour Shadow Scotland Secretary said the, SP, uh, the SNP Westminster leader was calling the shots, but shooting himself in the foot. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. I know, it's like, I'm really annoyed. I should have had that. I could have got that. Anyway. Ian Murray has said Stephen Flynn thinks he's already the First Minister. The Shadow Labour Scotland Secretary said the SNP Westminster leader was calling the shots and shooting himself in the foot. As I said, Flynn spoke to Hamza Yousaf the day before he ended the Butte House Agreement. And Flynn's taking uh, credit for this. Flynn is saying, oh, well, it was all my influence, of course. Hamza Yousaf mustn't take any credit. Well, <laughs> if that's the case, then, Flynn, you've caused all this. Uh, the fallout after that decision led to his resignation, Humza's, as First Minister. Well, one day perhaps, not yet. Uh, but Flynn has denied his part in the downfall. Well, he was accepting it was his originally. This is the, t this is the real two-faced twonkery. Right at first he was saying, well, I was talking to people and I was pushing this in and I was very influential. Then when it all went Pete Tong and fell apart and drained away, he went, oh, I've got to distance myself from that and was reverse ferreting like crazy. Uh, anyway, Flynn has also ruled himself out to the co of the contest to become SNP leader. He does now. He didn't at first. He was dead serious about going for it. It's only when everyone in the party, in the SNP, pointed at him and started laughing that he said, oh, no, it was never serious. Oh, oh. The guy reverses on everything. He knows he can't do it. Nobody wants him. He's actually deeply un unpopular in Scotland. And when I say in Scotland, I don't just mean generally the Scottish people, although I wouldn't put a bet against it. But within the SNP, they're not too keen on him. He's not well liked north of the border, which is perhaps why they don't mind him being down in Westminster. Can't get him far enough away. Murray was speaking during Scotland questions in the House of Commons today, and he said the truth is that Scotland is trapped between two chaotic and failing governments. We've had three prime ministers and we'll have had three first ministers in as many years. I'd not thought of that. And that's absolutely true, isn't it? In a sort of in about 18 months or so, there's been three prime ministers, three first ministers and not a bloody election between them. He said all the while, the member for Aberdeen South, Beryl, thinks he is already the First Minister by calling the shots, but he's shooting himself in the foot. What is abundantly clear to the people of Scotland is that neither the Scottish nor the UK governments are even interested in delivering the change that Scotland needs. Well, it's not down to the governments. It's down to the people to vote the next government in, whoever that may be. We've got two incompetent governments, I, gar I grant you. But I, I also grant you in about six, seven months or however long it takes to get Labour in, we'll have had three incompetent governments. 
Uh, this was met with a shout of bring it on from the SNP when he said that there should be a general election. But I think that's very brave of the SNP considering they know they're going to get their asses handed to them. And half of the people in there shouting bring it on will be gone. Although admittedly a lot of them are gone anyway. They're resigning. So it's not a case of losing half a dozen of them. It's a case of half a dozen of them will be upset at losing their seats. The other half will have already admitted that they know they've done and they've found other gainful employment, I presume. Tory Scotland Secretary Alistair Jack replied that the Nationalist MPs should polish up their CVs with a general election approaching. Um, I agree with, with Alistair Jack. I'd also, also point out that Alistair Jack must also do the same, although I'm pretty sure half the Tory party are already polishing, if not CVs, then something. He said, we absolutely do not fear an election, whether it is a Holyrood election or a general election. And I watch the nationalists implode again. I say, bring it on. He says, I hear them say, bring it on from a sedentary position. Bring it on. Yes, bring it on. And chaps over there and chapesses, start polishing up your CVs. They're going to need it. They are done. Now, the thing is, the thing is, ironically, Scottish Tories are going to do reasonably OK. It's just the Tories in England are going to be obliterated. And likewise, Labour in, uh, in Scotland and in uh, England and Wales will do very well. The SNP finished. They will lose at least half their seats. At least. And there's nowhere for them to go. Whoever takes over, whoever becomes First Minister, has got to look at this and got to look at Beryl and go... God, I'm sitting here now and we've got the general election coming and they'll be hoping to God this will be the first time when you've got some, an MSP in Scotland, an SNP MSP in Scotland, hoping to God that Beryl loses his seat because the man's bonkers. He thinks he's so much better. He wades into battle, you know, sitting there with the sword of righteousness and the shield of independence. He's like Coned the Barbarian, only he hasn't got anything, has he? He's going naked into battle without any kind of intelligence, no experience, nothing. And he looks, what is this with the ridge line on his eyes? He looks like a Neanderthal. Probably a similar IQ. Who knows? I'm coming up. Makes you wonder what Beryl will be doing in a few years from now. Big issue, something like that, Stand Street. Big issue, big issue. On the streets of Aberdeen, you know, litter picking. Selling behind a counter in Greg's. Something more attuned to his abilities. Certainly not to be given any kind of authority. Certainly not managerial permission, uh, pos uh, position, is he? He's not a manager. I tell you what he is. If ever you see the um, the manager and then the under manager who's lick spittling up to the big manager and the big manager's got the expensive suit on, the nice quality suit and the little lick spittle under manager with his shiny, you know, Tesco suit. That is... Beryl, isn't it? That is Stephen Flynn, the shiny suited under manager crawling into the man who's got the real power. Leader, my ass. Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video and I'll speak to you later. Bye.